Om Shanti. Today is your 146th day of your Godly Blessing. And in today's blessing, God teaches us a method of getting cooperation from everybody in a household or maybe whom we know or in your spiritual family or from the world at large. So let's understand what Baba wants to mention over here regarding the tree of life, regarding him being the seed of the whole tree and regarding being in connection with the seed so that we get cooperation from everybody and anybody in our life, the true cooperation which we desire for. So let's see what Baba says in this blessing. <music> says may you be a true yogi a true yogi means who's somebody who is in connection with God and who doesn't just show off that he's in connection with God or doesn't fake it that he's in connection with God she's in connection with God this is in relationship with a soul who's in yoga with the supreme being the supreme father so that's a true yogi and when Baba says may you be a true yogi and cooperative soul who has yoga with the one father and thereby receives everyone's cooperation so there's a condition for that if you want people to help you out to cooperate with you then to have the yoga with one father is very crucial let's go into the details Baba says to the extent that someone is yogi to the extent that someone is yogi he accordingly definitely receives everyone's cooperation because that's the reason we have to explore a yogi's connection that is his love is with the seed god is the seed of the whole world and we all souls are like the leaves on this tree of life so when god says if you're in connection with the seed then if you're in yoga with the seed with the one who is the seed of the whole world tree you automatically get the cooperation from the people or the leaves. Let's understand that in details. So because a yogi's connection, that is his love is with the seed. As a return of love, he receives everyone's cooperation. When we are in love with the seed, that means we are in connection with the values and the nurturing values of God. Automatically those values and virtues, they come within us. If you are in the company of bad people, bad qualities come into us if you're in company of the supreme being imagine what qualities will we have so showing those qualities of god automatically through our karma through our thoughts through our words leads other souls to find peace when they're amongst us helps them to find love when they're amongst us they feel relaxed when they're amongst us a yogi can give them peace and love and happiness because a yogi is in connection with god so vibrations of love and peace flow out from a yogi and automatically those souls with their complete help and cooperation whether it be financial cooperation whether it be physical cooperation whether it be mental cooperation they are ready to give that cooperation because they have received something through you as a yogi of God so then Baba says let's get into details those who have yoga with the seed and water the seed so you're in connection with the seed and you water the seed with love. That means you keep on showing your love to God internally. This yoga is within. You cannot show the yoga. There's a difference between this yoga and there's a difference between devotion. In devotion, you might be singing songs, praising the Lord or God, maybe playing some instruments or maybe you might be reciting some form of shlokas or any form of recitation from your holy book. But over here, this is internal. God says a yogi is always internal. He doesn't show that he's in connection with God. He doesn't have a mala or he's not He's not enchanting any name. The enchantment is within, not outside. So you are pouring that water of love. They attain the fruit of cooperation from all souls. So we are those souls or we are those souls who are just showing that we are in connection with God. There's a big difference. So then Baba says, because of having yoga with the seed, yoga with the seed, that means connection with the seed, loving connection, water of love, they have a connection with the whole tree. If you are, are in connection with the seed, if you know the seed, 
and all the qualities, all the virtues, and all the powers of God, if you know, then you can see those powers, those virtues, and those qualities in other souls also. May not be that they have all the qualities, but some qualities of God will be seen in every other soul. And when you connect to other souls on the basis of those qualities, those virtues, then they will start cooperating with you. What we do in this world in Kaliwa is we start looking for faults in people and not godly qualities which are there in those souls. And that's where we make a mistake and that's where we don't get cooperation because those souls, then they receive the negative vibration or impure vibration of our thoughts. Because we are looking not at the virtues, we are not looking at them through God's eyes or through the seed. We are looking at them through our own impure eyes. That's why we look at the faults in others. That's why others feel repelled from us because we are looking and complaining about them and spreading their faults to other souls also. And that's why God says, if you are in yoga with me, you will automatically get the cooperation of the souls. I hope you understand this in details and contemplate about this in detail and help your own relationships, worldly relationships to improve. So have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay home. Om Shanti. Thank you.